what is going on, ladies and gentlemen. So you need to know yourself as a man, as a masculine being before you get to dating. And I had made a video yesterday called men need to self-improve before they start dating. And a lot of men, some men, not a lot, some of them on my comments took it the wrong way. They said the best experience is to actually be with a chick. You have the whole idea misconstrued. Knowing yourself as a masculine being and being intimate with a young lady, AKA knowing how to smash, knowing how to blow her back out, are two different experiences. They are two different dynamics. See, the problem with a lot of young men is they are super weak. They don't know who they are as a masculine being. So when they get attached to a female, notice I said attached, their whole identity is attached to this chick. Their whole identity is extremely feminine because they are attached to her. They view her as higher than them because they don't know who they are as a man. And I'm gonna take a deeper dive into, the, into this. First of all, this is Tarek Talks. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me and I appreciate y'all humbly, you dig? So like I was saying, man, a lot of these young men, especially in this society, they are not taught how to be masculine. Matter of fact, it is frowned upon. As a matter of fact, somebody might get sued if they do try to teach that. See, way back in the day, the African tribes, Greek tribes, Asia, you name it, all of those older civilizations before this whole social, you know what I'm saying, whatever, justice and all that beaten BS happened all of those years back, they had classes that taught young boys how to be men. And they had classes that taught young ladies how to be young ladies, right? Not necessarily classes, but either the tribe or the community molded these young men like a sculpture, okay? It's like clay. It's soft at first. You're a soft little boy. Then you get sculpted into a young man, right? For example, you had the Greeks. We are, This is the most popular one, right? Most popular civilization. They had Spartan classes for the young boys, okay? They had classes where the young boys were, first of all, athletic and physical. And I know what someone is gonna say, but you keep talking about uh, physicality and working out so much. You guys don't know how much of a critical factor this is in manhood to be physical. That is one of our main things that is one of the main essences of masculinity is physicality, okay? That's first of all. Second, they were taught how to respect themselves, how to carry, and I'm not just limiting this to Greeks, okay? Africa, the Zulus, you know, uh, the Ming Dynasty, you know, any, any ancient civilization that had rites of passage for young men, and they told men that, hey, look, it is going to, life is going to be hard, right? Life is not gonna be easy. You have to be disciplined. You have to not take crap from people, especially, especially no female, right? Especially that because I'm not trying to be this whole alpha macho because that's not who I am whatsoever. But I be seeing these guys take the worst abuse from these chicks. These chicks be cheating on them openly. I mean, nowadays, these chicks don't even have to hide that they're cheating from their man. That's how weak men have got. They could just straight up tell their man, yeah, I was hanging out with my ma with my male friend. And he's like, okay, sweetie, I hope you had fun. I hope he blew your back out, right? Like, that's how weak men have gotten because they grew up with no rites of passage, right? First of all, we, we are, and this includes me, fellas. I'm not sitting here acting like I'm this freaking super alpha sent from heaven, okay? I've gone through these same pitfalls. Right. But anyway, in school, men aren't even t are they go through life sort of pampered. OK, they, we, are, we have all this technology. We barely have to do anything. OK, we have all these instant gratification stimuli like phones, social media, video games, you name it. So the need for physical activity is not present. Right. Men don't know who they are. They just float around in life 
playing video games, looking at IG stories of thoughts, you know, looking at IG thoughts all day, and they have not the slightest idea of their true role, right? See, look, these chicks, uh, when they are young, they're told they're queens. They told, hey, you're daddy's little girl, you're daddy's little princess, and you're worth the world. And if a man don't buy you a $20,000 ring, then he's not the right, you know, they're told all these affirmations. They are built up. And this is why a lot of them be mistreating dudes who are weak, who are weak, okay? Notice I said that. But for the most part, society is breeding all these weak dudes. So, you know, but anyway, this is why they mistreat them and don't think twice about it because they, in their head, they think they're above him because they've been taught that. Now, what are young men taught? They're not taught how to be men. They are taught, oh, you should text her good morning goddess every day and you should open the door for her always and always respect her no matter what. They're not told to have a backbone. They're told to be, they're told to act like P words. And, and when I say P words, we all know what we're talking about. They're told to act like B words. And these men grow up feeling lost, feeling like something is empty on the inside because they don't know who they are as a man. Their masculinity is stifled. It's stifled. They're told to behave and quiet down and, oh, don't do that. And even if she does disrespect you, she's still a lady and, and don't stand up for yourself. Don't don't even stand up towards other, other men, okay? None of this stuff is taught. And these young men are growing up like jelly backs, right? Sp spineless jelly back. This is why you see a lot of problems that are happening now. And I'm not gonna say what problems, I think we can all imagine about these mass incidents, okay? I'm gonna just say mass incidents with these young boys. They don't know who they are. They're just floating through life on technology 24 seven. They don't even have the slightest bit of physical prowess Okay, they don't have the slightest bit of self-respect. They were never taught, hey, respect yourself. As a matter of fact, they might have even got talked down by their uh, relatives, especially the female ones. And they didn't have no father figure telling them, hey, look, you got to be strong, son. Like life sucks. It hurts. But you got to be strong, right? There's no rites of passage anymore. There's no nothing to toughen young boys up to make them understand their masculine essence. Y'all get what I'm saying? Type a one if y'all get what I'm saying, dog. Please type a one in the comment section to know I'm not just talking to my damn self, okay? Nothing is taught to little boys to make them know their true power, their true masculine power. As a matter of fact, it is frowned upon. Yes, it is frowned upon to teach young men to be masculine, but the weird thing is, to the opposite gender, they are raised up to this mythical status that's why a lot of these dudes when they get with these chicks as i said earlier their whole identity is tied to her their whole it's like their being is part of her now and anything she does goes anything she does flies that's his princess that's his goddess oh yeah you want to have uh male friends go ahead sweetheart oh you want to uh walk out here dressed like a, a street walker go ahead sweetheart go out for the fifth time this week you feel what I'm saying? Because they have no respect for themselves. They don't know who they are. They're we and and I know the closest thing to this, the closest thing to young men uh, being raised up with like a masculine essence. And I hate to keep harping on this. I know somebody got a problem with it, but I don't care. Our athletes, our school athletes, perfect example. These athletes walk around with, I mean, I remember seeing the athletes walk around just like this, bro. Head up high, confidence, swagging it out through the school. And yes, I know what argument I'm gonna get. Oh, when they grow up, they turn to losers. Some of them fall off by the wayside. If I were to tell you that all of them, you know, grow up to be these successful moguls, I'll be lying to you. But I have seen with my own eyes, kids from my school that were athletes, one of them is a model, and I'm not talking about a freaking IG model. I'm talking about he travels the world, and he's been on magazine covers and billboards in New York. Model, model. And he was in Ace Town from Houston. He was an athlete all his life, right? So th that's, that's something just to think about, about how important physical prowess is before I get some dork that probably does what I'm... 
what I'm talking about, about pedestalizing chicks and thinking you the way you learn how to be a man is by being with a chick. No, intimate experiences and knowing yourself as a man are two different things. You feel me? Like I was saying, though, these athletes would be walking around confident. They would have a billion chicks on their jock because that was the closest thing to them knowing who they were as a man. They had that rough competition. They had they had adversity as they were growing up. That's what molded them. That's what sculpts them. OK, that's what sculpts them is that adversity through sports. Of course, way back in the day, it was adversity of wars, you know, and I'm not saying we need to have wars after that. You feel what I'm saying? Hopefully not. But they had adversity of wars. They had adversity of, hey, look, if I don't go out here and do something physical, if I don't get aggressive, right, I'm not going to eat. And this stuff gave them life. It gave them a spark on the inside. So a, a chick was nothing. You feel me? A chick was the last thing that this guy was worried about, right? Because he knew his masculinity. So when he did know his masculinity, now <clears throat> dating is much more easier. I'm not saying that it's going to be a walk in the park. I'm not saying if his chick Fs him over that he's not going to be hurt, right? But he's going to know himself as a man. So therefore, he's like, okay, this chick did some effed up stuff to me. And, you know, I'm not tolerating it. It hurts. But I'm going to keep going on with life. And as a matter of fact, since I know who I am as a man, I know what I need to do. And I need to do it two times harder. I need to go two times harder in the gym. I need to go two times harder on my business, right? As opposed to the jelly back uh, guy who thinks he needs to experience women to know he's a man, right? As opposed to him who latched his identity onto a chick, he's going to be completely devastated because that chick was his complete life. She was his everything. She was his, his he was nothing and she was his everything because he latched his identity on her because he doesn't have identity. He doesn't know who he is as a man. That's what I was trying to say. I'm not talking about the intimate experiences because yes, you are going to have to learn that at some point in your life. That's a different experience. First, you need to know who the F you are as a human, as a male human being. That's what I was trying to say. Anyway, I hope this video helped, man. Let me know if it did. Peace.